ways to use commas. Rule number one. The coach, who is new, reorganized the lineup. In a sentence, use commas around extra information between the subject and the verb. The coach is the subject, reorganized is the verb. Who was new is the extra information about the coach. Be sure to put your commas around extra information. Rule number two. Although I run five kilometers every day, I need to increase my stamina. Use a comma when placing introductory information before the main part of the sentence. Although I run five kilometers every day is introductory information. I need to increase my stamina is the main part of the sentence. Separate with a comma. Rule number three. Use commas when joining two sentences using one of these seven words. For, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. AKA the fanboys. The player scores and the whistle blows. The player scores, but the whistle blows. The player scores, yet the whistle blows. The player scores, so the whistle blows. Rule number four. Antonio needs his ball, shoes, a field, and some sunshine. Use commas between all items in a list of three or more things. Let's practice. The trophy, which was plated in gold, inspires me to do my best. Any extra information? Which was plated in gold is extra information about the trophy. Commas? After trophy and after gold. Another. Because the weather was cold, the field was still frozen. Here's a hint. Separate the introductory information from the main part. Because the weather was cold is introductory. The field was still frozen is the main part. Separate with a comma. Yeah, you got it. Two more. I hope this video ends soon so I can go play soccer. Here are two complete sentences. Remember your fanboys. Separate with a comma. Okay, last one. My biggest fans are my mother, my dog, and my college sweetheart. Looks like a list. Commas? After my mother and after my dog. Great job.